Hey, friends. You know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The 1990s were the last truly great era of Hollywood. Between 2000 and 2010, there were still some awesome films, sure, but those trailed off rapidly. And between 2010 and 2015 was the last death throes of good Hollywood movie making. Since then, well, there's been a massive crap ton of crap. And we've all had to suffer through the worst era of movies of all time. Maybe the studios are finally waking up to smell the coffee, but even if they do, they will never be able to return to the relative greatness that was the 1990s. This time we're looking at a film from 1995, and it's the epitome of what 90s movies could do. There's action and humor, a quality look and style we never see anymore. It's fun, there are practical effects, and it has a real star headlining it. The kind of star who, when you saw his name on the poster, you didn't care what it was about, really. You just couldn't wait to go see it. And the name alone could get people in the theater. And it's also a film that went unappreciated at the time and was considered a flop. That's right. We're talking about Judge Dredd, starring Sylvester Stallone. Judge Dredd was based on a long-running comic book series set in a dystopian future where the police are judge, jury, and potentially executioner. Our story goes like this. In the future, the world has gone to all hell and gone thanks to a big war. The people now live in mega cities. The rest of the world is a wasteland full of mutants and criminals and all of that. There's a lot of discontent and crime in the cities, so the government forms a justice brigade, basically police, who have the authority to not only collar crooks, but judge them. One day, there's a block war, and the judges move in to kick ass and restore order. A small-time hacker named Fergie gets caught up in it all. Judge Dredd is pretty stiff about the law and gives him a harsh sentence just for being there. Meanwhile, one member of the Council of Justice who runs the whole thing has a plan he's been pushing. He wants to use the Janus Project. This was a program to create clones of the lawgivers to increase their numbers. The project was more or less shelved, but still exists. This no good Nick sets events in motion to take power for himself and unlock the Janus Project. See, he's been keeping a real bad crook under wraps in prison. A former lawgiver gone bad named Rico. It was Dredd who judged Rico back in the day. He arranges Rico's escape so he can unleash havoc in the city. Proof to the council that the Janus Project has to be used. What he doesn't know is that the homicidal Rico wants to use the Janus Project to make clones of himself so he can take over Mega City One. Meanwhile, our hero, Judge Dredd, is convicted of a crime he didn't commit in order to get him out of the way. Through a series of unforeseen events, he and Fergie wind up trapped in the wasteland together and need to get back into the city so Dredd can prove his innocence and stop Rico. Will Rico succeed? Can Dredd stop these evil schemes? And what of Fergie? In our cast, we have Sylvester Stallone as Judge Dredd, playing the part in an almost cartoonish way as a stiff-necked cop, all about enforcing the law. Even if it's not always fair, Stallone was at the top of his 90s game here. The movie also gave Stallone one of his most iconic catchphrases. <laughs> But, but he does look really good as Dredd. The costume is great, and, and he looks the part. Armand Asante plays the patty Rico, and he brings both the mayhem as well as the menace. 
Jurgen Proshnow is doing his usual creepy villain shtick, which he does so well. Max von Sydow plays the head of the Justice Organization, and Dredd's mentor, and he's quite good here, as you'd expect. Diane Lane plays Hershey, Dredd's sometimes partner and potential love interest, and then there's Joan Chen from Twin Peaks as a scientist on the Janus Project. Familiar face Mitchell Ryan plays an investigative reporter, and Saturday Night Live alum Rob Schneider is the small-time crook Fergie, the comic relief who unwillingly teams up with and helps Dredd out. Uh, I gotta say, Schneider is a surprise in this one. I remember going to see this when it came out, and my friends and I all agreed Schneider was surprisingly good. We liked him in the movie. We have a name brand cast, excellent production values, really good special effects, some fun stunts and action, a fresh, interesting looking setting, and a tongue-in-cheek humor running throughout. What's not to love? So, what went wrong? Well, the biggest problem here was not that the movie didn't follow the comic, believe it or not. While Judge Dredd certainly has his fans, he wasn't as well known to the public at large as other comic book characters like Superman or Batman. No, the biggest problem here is that Stallone saw Judge Dredd as an action comedy, while the director and the script saw it as a dark satire of the justice system run amok. Stallone demanded more comedy, and to add more comedy, there were reshoots the director was not allowed to be involved with. This created a big departure from the script that left director Danny Cannon extremely disappointed. Later, Cannon said he didn't want to work with such self-absorbed actors as Stallone anymore. As for fans of the comic, they were disappointed, mostly because Dredd takes off his helmet something the comic book character almost never did, thus violating the established canon in the comic book. But the studio felt that if they were going to have a big name brand star like Stallone in the picture, they wanted to see his face. So yeah, he takes off the helmet. I don't see this as a deal breaker myself, since the movie has a lot more going for it. The story also doesn't really hew as closely to the comic book in other ways as fans may have wanted. The more recent version, 2012's Dread, starring Carl Urban, which is very good, was more faithful to the source material. True, the 1995 film adds a lot of jokey humor, such as a dispatcher referring to events happening at the corner of Abbott and Costello, <laughs> or the corner of Burns and Allen, <laughs> or a vending machine extolling the virtues of eating recycled food. It's good for the environment, and it's okay for you. <laughs> oh, but, but I don't know. None of that bothered me. It just seemed to fit in with this weird futuristic world. Fans of the comic may not dig this one, but not being well versed in the comic book, I had a good time watching the movie. Movies from the 90s were an embarrassment of riches, and we never knew it. Maybe something like Judge Dredd just looks better today when compared with the crap Hollywood makes now. It's Citizen Kane compared to Charlie's Angels. Ugh. Anyway, I always liked Judge Dredd. It's not the comic, maybe, and will disappoint purists, but it's still big and exciting and fun and stylish. A great example of the entertaining big action movies Hollywood was so good at making in the 1990s. So I'm giving Judge Dredd two and three quarters paws up. Well worth a watch. You take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.